beautiful sunshine, helping us reinvigorate our body with vitamin D from the sun and helping us overcome the effects of SAD, seasonal affective disorder. With that, the more work you can do outside, the better hopefully you will feel every day for the rest of winter, which can be any amount of time. From that, every workout needs to have a warm-up. This is your warm-up for every single one of those. From that, we want to make sure we have some space, so whether that's your driveway, your backyard, or somewhere safe and free of ice, um, ideally, we can work in a really small area on your deck even will be okay. The more space you have, the more you can do things like running and other um, bare and back kind of exercises. With that, our first one, we want to get started just a nice easy jogging, right? This is going to help warm up our ankles and hips, get our core engaged, get our whole body moving heart rate up. From there, if you want to challenge higher with those running high knees or even running high knees with a twist, nice big strong controlled movements to think about 30 maybe one minute 30 seconds one minute even moving into those butt kickers just like we like to do from that nice and warm now we're going to open those hips up even wider so a little bit of a wide stance here toes pointing out at the 45 hands in behind the head to squeeze finding that nice full range of motion for our prisoner squats with that finding that motion means coming as deep as you can keeping as much weight in your heels as you're able and challenging to open those hips up even wider with our little handy squat. Dropping down, bringing our elbows to the inside of our knees, pushing those knees out, sinking those hips down even deeper. From here, holding on to the outside of your legs, dropping our head down, getting that nice deep stretch into the hamstrings. Now we're going to wake everything up a little bit deeper. If you have the space to do it, coming into a karaoke or a great bar. All the way out, all the way back. Warming up the inside and outside of those hips. So you can go up and down with those. If you have just a little bit of space coming through, totally doable. Nice and strong. Then we'll move into some jumping jacks. So getting started, nice regular jumping jacks. Hands touch at the top and down on the sides of the legs. That's going to help us get that nice full range of motion through the rotator cuff. We're going to do about 20 of these, and then move into 20 seal jacks, opening those shoulders and pecs up, and 20 front to back jacks. Getting the whole body moving nice and strong the whole time. Once you've done 20 of each of those, we move into some windmills, stretching our upper body now. Arms out to the side, one hand drops down, Keeping your eyes on your upside hand as much as you can as we rotate through these, waking that whole body up. That should hopefully take you about five or ten minutes if you're feeling nice and warm, a little bit of sweat on. Keep carrying on and get ready for your workout. Awesome, thank you.